Hi, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a flight of my SEMA X5C. I have an 808 keychain camera attached, but something special is uh, different about this flight. If you notice the transmitter, there's something different about it. And what I got for you here is a SEMA X5C transmitter that's been modified uh, with a high dB antenna in particular. This is a 5 dB antenna. And in addition to that, I also have included a windsurfer Wi-Fi reflector. Um, the combination of this antenna plus this reflector, I am expecting to quadruple the range of this transmitter. Now the base range of this transmitter is, is about 70 meters, so I'm hoping to get a, about 280 meters uh, with this uh, transmitter. Now, at 280 meters, this little quadcopter gets very hard to see, so I'm not going to actually try to go all the way out to 280 meters. I'm going to have a hell of a time beating through the bushes off in the distance if I do such, if I fall out of range. But I am going to fly out past these pylons here. Um, they are a known range. Uh, I don't know, that one's a... That one I paced out at 400 feet, but actually it's two-thirds of that. Uh, so that's about uh, you know, uh, two-thirds of 400... Uh, do the math, folks. 800 divided by 3 is 200 and, I don't know, 230, 250 feet. <laughs> that one is, was paced out at 500 feet, but I incorrectly paced it. It's about two-thirds of that. So, whatever. I'll include the actual distances to those pylons in the video below. I'm going to measure it out on Google Maps and include that. But again, today's flight is to actually demonstrate how far this quadcopter can fly, or demonstrate that it can fly a much greater distance than the normal standard uh, SEMA transmitter. I'll include a video or a link on how to do this modification in the video info section below. Uh, Sebi Docky did a real good documentation on this on RC groups. I'll include a link to that. And also I'll include a link to a fellow who uh, actually put a uh, Wi-Fi router antenna onto his uh, transmitter. Um, the Wi-Fi router antenna is good. You'll maybe double your range with that. But you can get a lot better range if you use a better antenna. And these antennas are only about three, $3.50 on Banggood. So, you know, we're not talking about a lot of money here. And the cable and connector is about $2.50 on Banggood. You will need to know how to do uh, some soldering. If you don't know how to solder, don't attempt this. Because it's a little bit difficult. Uh, but let's go into a flight and actually demonstrate how far we can get with the uh, CMAX 5C. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, turning on the camera. Camera's recording. Binding the transmitter. And let's go for a flight. Now one thing though, although you get much greater range with this uh, transmitter and with this uh, reflector, the beam coming off the antenna is highly directional. Um, you have to actually point this reflector at the quadcopter like I'm doing so right now. If I move it away from that direction, um, you can lose control of the quadcopter, so you have to be very careful. In other words, this is not a good option for those of you who are contemplating like uh, FPV flying, because you need to keep pointing this uh, reflector at the quadcopter. Okay, let's send it down by the far end pylon down there. seems to be working very well. Okay, I believe I went past the pylon. It's hard to tell with this tiny little quadcopter. Okay, that seems to be the end of the range here. I had a drop out there. Bringing it back closer. Much farther. Going to high speed too. There's some wind up there. It has to fly or fight. But, uh... I don't know what the range was there. I'll try to measure it out on Google Maps. Let's send it up to the far end of the field, or the upwind side of the field. Get it 
some altitude too in case there is a drop out here. Let's go down by the pylon one more time. Coming back up again. I don't know if I went past the pylon or not. There's a tiny little quadcopter. I'm a little, a little bit scared because if I lose uh, control down there and it goes into bushes, I'll have a hard time finding it again. There's a wind picking up here, folks. Got to fight it. Flying over by the graveyard. Let me hover by the graveyard to show you that. <laughs> See the airplane graveyard? <laughs> Okay, bring the quadcopter back. Okay. I think I've reached the objective of what I want to do with today's flight. I'm going to send it up high one time and then do a rapid descent. And let's bring it down. I'm going back to beginner also. Cutting throttle, cutting throttle, forward pitch. Okay, now to get some thumbnail video. <laughs> Just a couple of thumbnail passes and then I'll land it. Showing the transmitter. One more pass for the thumbnails. There's a wind behind my back here. I have a little hard time hovering it. And we'll land it. Well, I did get greatly increased range. I was doing well past 70 meters. I know that. So we'll measure it out on Google Maps. I'll have the actual distances again in the video. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out with the SEMA X5C transmitter modification. Let me hold it one more time like that. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Quite comfortable. 101 signing out.